Hello. Hello. Welcome. Good to see you. You look great. Um, <laughs> I was going to come on here and do a little tarot reading, and I was going to use these cards. And fair is fair, since the last one that I did was for single moms, I thought I would do a reading for you single dads or aren't maybe you're not dads I'll open it up to any single um, masculines and just like before if you want to switch it you know if you're feminine and you want it to be your reading switch it but specifically I'm turning the tables <laughs> so I'm going to use these cards even though they annoy me because it's hard for me to tell which ones they are um, but I do have my little sheets up here, although it's like Roman numerals and whatever. I'm going to do the three shuffles, and I'm thinking about some messages for, for the fellas out there who are looking for love. Hopefully not in all the wrong places. Alright, so that was three. Now I'm going to cut. Now that's fun, so I'm going to put that on top. And that's where we're going to start. And so here we go. Oh, I forgot. Give it a little spank for no reason. And um, all right, let's flip this first card. And we have the three of coins. It looks to me big, big strong fella here. Um, got three rings in his hand and he's he's doing some kind of trick there's some ladies in the background watching him so I'm gonna put that right there so um, <laughs> I don't read this card often these uh, this deck often so um, just to start out with I'm just gonna go by the pictures you know so here we've got this dude he's got you know He's got his uh, prospects. He's looking good. He's, um, you know, he's performing here on the street. I can see there's money in his hat. He must be doing a good job. The, the females behind him are like, ooh, strong man. Pretty nice promising card. All right. And so then I'm going to do a horseshoe pattern. Let's see, I don't think I can get it to stay in. I still haven't figured that part out. All right. So, the next card I'm going to flip is for the past. In the past. In the past, y'all. Ooh, in the past we had the Nine of Swords. And this is a weird Nine of Swords, to tell you the truth. It's always kind of, it's a little confusing to me. If you look at it, you're like, you have to look. The swords are all around. They are in this big house. And there's a woman um, looking at her reflection and a gentleman behind her who's maybe putting a necklace around her uh, neck there. And so they really do seem in fine spirits. There's someone far behind with a fan over her face. Um, but the swords are there and there's nine of them. And we know normally that's like, you know, betrayal or, um, you know just leave it there betrayal and that's the past okay we've all had relationships that didn't go the way we wished okay so that's going to be our past card there we go I'm trying to get him oh, maybe I can. probably not so the next one i'm going to flip is the present card and presently we are in the seven of coins Ooh, that's pretty nice like here i see let me show you the picture for this kind of reading so we've got we've got a, a, a well-dressed lady here um, picking her skirts up kind of running and there's this these seven coins leading up to this uh, like Colosseum or show or something so like maybe um, this is saying you know ask you're in the moment you're dating or you're or you're uh, thinking about asking uh, somebody to go to the Colosseum with you or really, you know, movie, whatever. Ancient runs out in the woods. All right.
right, and then the next card is going to be, sorry, I have to arrange them so I can feel good about them, I guess. It's the, what was I doing? Where am I? Uh, seriously, okay. Uh, so this is the future card. Let's get, let's get it on. Ooh, look what we have here. What a, what a nice card to get the reading. As you can see, we've got a, a Ferris wheel. Since I was just saying the present moment, we were thinking of asking someone out. Well, look here. We've got this Ferris wheel in the background, and we have this couple canoodling on the bench, and um, quite close, you know. Um, and that is uh, the 10, which is the Wheel of Fortune, actually. I was like, wondering, but I love that this deck has this, um, these two characters here. They go very well with our reading. Um, <clears throat> all right, and so then in order to get this reversal of fortune, in order to get this, go from Betrayal of the Swords, I'll put them down here, Betrayal of the Swords, <clears throat> and, um, having the seven pentacles to bring them in, in this card, and that causing a turn in fortune. So let's see what the best approach is for you. All right, there it is, Toodaloo. Oh, there, is there couples in every single one of these? How am I supposed to know what the cards mean if they're not stabbed and everything? So here we have swords again. We start with swords, um, and of those, of course, um, can for some people represent like thoughts and um, getting stuck in your mind, so or getting stuck in a rumors or. And so here we have less six. We have six swords, and here I can see. This man is sitting on a bench at the piano with a lady, and they're holding hands. And um, so it's the Six of Swords, but it certainly doesn't look bad in this deck. I think I'm going to do all my love readings in this deck, so no matter what <laughs> what comes up, it seems fine. Oh, so how do we get there? Oh, well, we just, um, we think Six Swords. <laughs> all right. I will go to the book because... Um, and see what words pop out. So the next card I'm going to flip here is, of course, the outside influences, and it is ooh look at this it's a it's a man playing the music, and it seems like that's the Knight of Coins. So that's cool. I like that. I like this knight. He's got his jaunty hat on and he's playing the flute. And he's um, we had someone yeah we had this card where the man has the money in the hat and then we have so outside influences um, you've got your knight of pentacles so maybe you have like a like a friend or someone who can, uh, can kind of be a wingmate to you or is being helpful playing the music while you're <laughs> chatting her up all right, so let's um, let's go to the next one, which is get my head on straight here. Um, I believe the child. It's two more. So it's hopes and dreams. That's what it is. Oh my goodness! Hopes. <laughs> I'm just gonna show you the picture. What made me say, "Oh my goodness"? Look at these guys. So. It's the Five of Cups, and it's <laughs> the women, the women's, they fighting over you here. That's a, a Hopes and Dreams is also can be a challenge card. So um, here this man is, and one woman is, is taking the flowers <laughs> he's uh, brought and is about to hit him in the back with it, and the other woman is pulling off his mask, because it looks like they're at a masquerade. She's pulling off his mask. So, um, 
definitely <laughs> definitely would say um, if you have been in a like a two timing situation before, don't do that. The challenge would be don't do that. Don't um, don't go to a masquerade and both your like girls that feminines that you're seeing are there and um, yeah because they're gonna do that that's not gonna be good so this is a warning card don't don't be a don't be a fickle man don't one at a time uh, I mean unless you know they're down and these two definitely do not seem down okay so <laughs> in this case if you want if you want two girls and you're going to have to get permission from all parties involved all right it's good advice for everyone and then final outcome so guys here it is final outcome for y'all Ooh, queen of cups that's nice what a nice reading actually but look at her so if you if you can uh overcome this challenge of um dating too many girls or something um, you will end up the Queen of Cups and what I love is that she's got a mask she's holding it in her hand and looking over it's almost like she's seeing this happening you know so <laughs> hopes hopes and dreams in that case would be that she's amused by this and she's doesn't have her mask on so she's watching without her mask on the other two women still do have their masks on so um, again no I don't think anyone's hoping and dreaming of having this um, having this public fight here it looks embarrassing so that would be the challenge is to try to stay out of trouble while you're dating and these cards are so nice so I'm just gonna grab my book here and um, oh, I'm doing pretty good. 1218, I see up there. Um, so, first, we're going to do the Nine of Swords. Ooh, ouch. Ouchy swords. I always say too many swords. All right. Nine of Swords is too many. And of course, normally, you know, that's what the card looks like, not like people getting a necklace here. So, um, in the past, gentlemen. Nightmares, suspicion, insecurity, depression, weighing one down, worry, delays, longing, and misery, pining for a loved one, distress and obsession, the haunting of past hurts and injustices, debilitating, unhealthy situation, unrelenting enemy, loneliness, indecision, bewilderment, and a premature end. So remember, that was your past card, so that might be you know, your last relationship, or uh, maybe that's how you feel about love in general in the past. But in the present, you feel Seven of Pentacles, so let's, let's get that one up here. Seven comes before nine, there you go. So seven, usually a man uh, looking at a bountiful tree, in this case it was the woman running in to the Colosseum, so it says, um, bounty comes with patience, all right, and the fair and just treatment of others. So maybe understanding more from your past of how to um, treat, treat someone you would be dating in the future, right? And so growth in personal and business life, feeling, uh, feeling of well-being, satisfaction in work and profit, a card of goodwill the repaying of past kindnesses, stability, and steady progress. Weeping what has been sowed. Did I say weeping? <laughs> reaping. Reaping what has been sowed. Um, and so I still stick with it. Like, you know, you, um, you put in the work and you invite her out and you take her on a date and um, you hope for that wheel of fortune and that good conversation. Um, obviously, Wheel of Fortune, if you've had the ill fortune in love, a change of fortune would be having good fortune in love. So I'm not even going to read that card because that's 
misunderstood right there. But we're going to go to this best approach here, which was the six of the swords, the six stabs. Stab you six times in your mind. Why do I forget it's yellow? Um, six. I know how numbers work. I do. I do. Six. So here in Six of Swords, it's like a boat with a bunch of swords in there traveling. So um, I don't understand why we used a card at the piano. They don't seem to be traveling anywhere. <clears throat> All right, so it says movement, improvement of any situation, safe passage, more than sympathy, but help from others, moving away from an unhealthy situation, lessening stress, yet destination unknown travel over water, a new chapter. I would say this is to, to start a new chapter, not traveling over water. Although I suppose if you have someone in mind and you have to travel over water <laughs> to get to them, well, there you go. But in this case, most, I think we could take it for, you know, lessen the stress, um, have a new chapter in the way you approach things or know what you, um, where your boundaries are, where you won't you know, where you won't compromise, all right? Um, and then it also says, <clears throat> sometimes interpreted as a declaration of love. So that's pretty nice to approach it with um, movement, steadiness, improvement, approach the dating with, you know, with a direction in mind. Uh, line your heart and your mind focus and follow through it is saying that, you know yet unpredictable result but of course that's how dating is it's unpredictable but definitely um, approach the situation with a new chapter with a new um, take those lessons you know flip the wheel of fortune instead of having it be nightmare distress you know um, make that progress and turn your fortune around when it comes to love and approach it with steady growth and um, you know I just noticed my phone was telling me low storage so it's probably gonna cut out on me so uh, that's gonna irritate me I forgot to empty the trash I put the videos in there but anyway um, I'll keep going as long as I can <laughs> So I have um, the Knight of Pentacles, and he pops right up to help me. Um, Hardworking young man with a traditional orthodox outlook, uh, utility, an honest, responsible person, solid progress, meth methodical approach to large goals, financial consultant, commitment, perseverance, and stamina, a dependable man if considered a little dull. And you remember, I was saying this was your wingman, so maybe your wingman needs to be a little bit dull to help you out, or this is, um, you know, sort of the out, outside influences of what you're bringing. Maybe we could see it that way. Um, but remember, like a dependable man, and some people might consider that dull, but I mean, I don't. Dependable man, that's great. That's not dull. Okay, so then. Um, we already said the challenge was the Five of Cups, so let's check that one really quick because it's definitely a fight. Uh, the Five of Cups is disappointment. Remember, it's the one, oh, I've talked about this one before, where the, all his friends left him and he's been drinking too much. Disappointment being held at a disadvantage, manipulated by uh, emotional strings, unfulfilled dreams. So these are your challenges. Um, Spilled milk, suffering over one's suffering, dif difficulty accepting a loss, disbelief, sin senseless loss, lingering gloom, being limited by the haunting of the past experiences, weight and slow healing. So um, I'm trying to just be super fast because I know it's going to cut off any time. So um, wasn't about threesomes um, or three, two timing. It was about um, hanging on to those bad habits. So let those go. The the, the way you might have been before, the way your relationships might have been before. You know, don't let your lingering gloom don't be haunted by the past experiences. Just let that all go. Because then we'll get the Queen of Cups. And the Queen of Cups is a woman of imagination, romantic, compassionate air, 
one who encourages the dreams and talents of others, generosity and care, a loyal lover, a genuine heart, virtue, protection, a cultured, refined woman who is wise in matters of the heart. For a male querent, she can represent true love. There you go, true love. And then, I don't need to read that. For a woman, it was the rival or, or a confidant, but um, this was for the masculines today. And um, it does say that even as a rival, she's honest and believes in fair play. Um, but for the gentleman out there, that can re represent your true love. That's your final outcome. How great is that? Wonderful. I know I didn't look at the three of coins, so let's see if we can get that in our pentacles. Let's see if we can get that one really quick, because that's the one we started with. Oh no! When is it going to cut out? So here, three of pentacles was that you have skill, a craft, making use of talents, marketable skills or ideas, an inherent ability that is a great asset of more than mere monetary value. So this is you. This is what you're bringing. You're able to take interest and pride in your humble work. You find comfort and peace in one in in work. You're steady and you're you sure progress. You you've earned a reputation for quality through. Uh, though not recognizing your own worth. So this would be to definitely recognize your own worth, worth and, um, you know, uh, take pride in the, in the talents that you have. Use the skills that you have. Um, and uh, get, your, get your queen of cups, all right, y'all? Pretty quick one today. Really, really good reading. I loved it. And uh, I'll see you later. Bye.